having fun. I think no matter whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, we got to give Trump credit when he deserves it. Like, he pulled out of the Paris Agreement. And I think he should get credit for that, because he said he was going to pull out, and then he did, and that's a refreshing quality in a man. <laughs> Most men are like, I forgot. Uh, I'll get you next time. <laughs> oh my god, there's going to be a next time? <laughs> And people say romance is dead. <laughs> we do have too many men in charge. Too many men. They don't get us. They don't know. Like, it's... it's yeah, seven of you. Great. <laughs> I got, uh, we, uh, you can see it with the trans bathroom thing, you know? Like, most politicians are men, so men are making the laws. And they thought that if trans women use women's bathrooms, that women would feel unsafe. And I think that comes from a fundamental misunderstanding about what happens in a woman's bathroom. <laughs> and to be fair, we have made it very mysterious. <laughs> we always go in groups. There's a huge line outside. People go in, but they never come out. It's a whole Willy Wonka situation. When we do finally get back from the bathroom, we're all giggly, and you're like, what happened? We're like, we can't say. <laughs> but I have new hair now. <laughs> so we have, we made bathrooms very mysterious. But in reality, in a woman's bathroom, at any point, if you see genitals, something has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> we are very private people. No one's walking in the bathroom being like, lady is out, ladies. <laughs> Let's get to comparing. <laughs> oh, we go in the bathroom, we go in the stall, we lock the door, we pee, poop, or cry, and then we leave. <laughs> the only thing we're really worried about is, do they know I'm the one that pooped? <laughs> I tried to cough a lot knowing when the hand dryer was on. <laughs> Which is a crazy thing for women to worry about in a woman's bathroom. Who are you trying to impress in there? If anything, you should poop very loudly. Because then if there's an attacker in there, he'll be like, well, not that one. <laughs> I'm evil, I'm not crazy. That's good self-defense in general. You have to walk home late at night, fart the whole way. <laughs> be your own rape whistle. <laughs> like, not <laughs> till <laughs> dead. <laughs> That's a great strategy if you just accidentally fart in public. Like, you thought it was going to be silent, and then your body betrayed you. The next time, just be like, yeah, that was just a warning. I'm a very dangerous person. Now, if you turn your attention back to this PowerPoint. <laughs> and I don't know why men are so concerned about our bathrooms. I worry about your bathrooms. You don't lock yourselves in a stall. You just stand up against a wall and watch each other pee. You have your pants undone while you're looking at a wall. You're just ripe for the raping. <laughs> and you designed both bathrooms. You gave yourselves a shittier bathroom. Give yourselves enough stalls. Sit while you pee. Rest those legs. You gotta be tired from stomping on us all day. <laughs> knowing what your intention is. You have to walk in the bathroom being like, I'm going to poop now. <laughs> Women, we get to be like, hey, I'm pooping now. <laughs> this is a fun surprise afternoon poop. <laughs> this has really turned my day around. <laughs> Stop using we're protecting women as your excuse for getting stuff done. It's bullshit and it's insulting. Like, I was on a date, a guy offered to walk me my door. He's like, I just want to make sure you get home safe. No, that's not why you're doing it. That's your last ditch effort to touch a boob. <laughs> at that point of the night, the most dangerous thing at my door is you. <laughs> and if a robber came by, I don't think you'd be able to do anything about it, because early that night at dinner, I learned you have a gluten allergy. <laughs> you can't protect me from a biscuit. <laughs> also, that's why you're not coming up. There's nothing less sexy than hearing
here and a guy be like, well, I can't eat bread. Because I'm going to need you to be okay with yeast. 